Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give you a quick little update on some of the printing that I've been doing with the K2 Plus with CFS. This is my Army of Nom that I printed. I figured it was going to be a good, decent uh, model for for testing out to see how the CFS does uh, with color changes that weren't paint. So all of these parts are Boolean, being that the teeth and the eyes are separate from the body and the pupil. Um, and what I was doing is this is every variation going from one color to the next to the next. So each one of them has three, is a print of three colors. And these are all of the variations. I wanted to see if there was one color going from one to the next that you would end up getting layer shift or some weirdness. The only one that I had was this red to black to blue on the pupils had a little bit of shift but everything else really came out pretty tight. Now that is a different experience than what I had when I was doing the face masks. I would get a little bit of shift and it looked like the you know adjacent colors when I'd go from like say red to black or to white to black, that the colors would kind of peel away from each other. So I also did these Grateful Dead Dancing Bears. This is the... Uh, you know, purge fill into object one. And I think it turned out really pretty good. But you can see on this one, now these objects were all uh, using the Creality Paint feature. You can see that the CFS uh, looks like it just skipped one, one layer, you know, one tool change, basically. So I haven't dug into the G-code or anything. I'm sure that it's, I'm sure that it's in there somewhere. But, you know, the for the most part, aside from that one layer, you know, everything looks pretty good. You know, it probably could have used another layer on the bottom of the gray of the ears. But for the most part, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, so far, I've been really pretty happy with the K2. It's, you know, I have probably 14 days. Uh, they do it in 24-hour periods for their counter. But it's been doing really pretty good. And I've, and I've been mixing it up doing... So I print hardly ever in PLA. I mostly print ABS and engineering uh, grade plastics. And I've been doing a lot of ABS and it's been doing really well. Uh, you know, the heated cabinet is a nice... It's a nice thing. Uh, one thing about the heated cabinet, though. The other day I noticed that the cover where my cabinet heater has changed colors. Now I've reached out to the Creality Engineering team and they assure me that that is all within expected specifications and that there is not an issue. So, you know, probably keep an eye on that if you end up going this route. Um, but I have to say, so far, the machine's been really solid. Now I do not know how it's going to age. Uh, you know, once you get, say you know, a thousand hours on these things. But if it's anything like what the K1 is, I would imagine that it's going to remain being, you know, a pretty decent printer. Um, you know, take that for what it is. You know, I am, I'm not paid to say it. I can say whatever I want. Um, and, you know, I don't want to steer you guys wrong, but for the time that I have on this printer so far, been a decent printer. Let me know what you're saying in the comment section. Thanks for watching.